Chad Weber here with Loan Officer Marketing Lab. In this video, we're going to talk about plugins. Now, if you're wondering what a plugin is, just think of it as the name describes. It it's a piece of software that plugs right into WordPress, which just so happens to be the software that's managing your entire website. So what I'd like to do is direct your attention to the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a little tab in your admin panel that says plugins, and I want you to click there for installed plugins. That's right, we've already uploaded and installed and connected certain plugins that we felt were very important for you to have. Now, the beautiful thing is that there are literally thousands of plugins out there that can extend the functionality of WordPress, basically to make it do just about anything you could possibly imagine, which is part of the reason why we built your website on WordPress to begin with, because there's almost nothing that you can even imagine uh, you would like your website to do that is not possible with a plugin. Most plugins just so happen to be free as well, so that's just a nice added bonus. So here's what we did for you. We plugged in uh, some functions to give your website the capability to do some things that it did not do right out of the box. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. The first plugin that's very important is called Better WP Security. Now you may have heard about individuals hacking into websites, specifically WordPress websites, uh, in the past couple of months. One of the things that you can do to protect yourself is to beef up the default security that's already built into your website because there are some holes there that can be exploited. And let me tell you, it's no fun having your website hacked and removed, so you have to start all over again from scratch. So what we did was we plugged in something called Better WP Security, and if you plug you scroll to the left hand side of your sidebar here you're going to see a little um, tab that says security and I want you to click there okay so after you've clicked on the security tab I want you to come down here where it says create database backup and I want you to go ahead and click that button okay so let's go ahead and click that now and then you're going to click the button that says secure my site from basic attacks okay so go ahead and click that button there so what's going to happen now is a lot of those little holes that could be exploited quite easily by hackers are going to be plugged in or plugged up by your new by your new security plugin. But what I want you to do next is to take a look where it says system status and you're going to see some color codings here um, and basically click here to fix. So what, what's happening now is the plugin is identifying certain holes that it was unable to fix just from clicking that button. It's going to give you options to click a button and uh, continue to decide which features you wish to activate. Now most of the features I do want you to activate, but ultimately it's going to fall on you to decide which features to turn on and which features to turn off. It's the beauty of this plugin is that it walks you through and tells you if there are any dangers to specific features, such as reducing comment spam or removing write permissions. Some of that's going to sound like uh, just so much techno speak to you, uh, but ultimately the best thing that you can do is click and activate most of the features, click Save Changes, and then if you run into any problems, then just go back in and deactivate that feature. Okay. The, the important thing is to uh, secure as much of your website as humanly possible. So next what I want you to do is go back after you've got just follow the steps. It's very, very simple. It walks you right through. But once you're done with it, I want you to go back to the plugins tab again on your left hand sidebar, installed plugins. And then I want you to look for something called limit login attempts. Okay, just make sure that that's been activated. Okay, what that does is that blocks individuals from hacking into your website through something called brute force hacking, which means there's software programs that can connect to your login page and just attempt over and over and over and over again to log in. And it can try thousands and thousands and even millions of varieties of and combinations of usernames and passwords. And eventually they will uh, hack their way in if they're not stopped. So what this plugin does is it allows you to try to log in three or four times and then it locks you out if you don't get in or get your uh, logins and passwords correct after just three or four attempts. So you can control that with this particular plugin and I just want you to make sure that it's been activated. Uh, next I want you to look for your contact form 7. This is this plugin right here. Make sure that that's been activated and uh, you should have a little contact tab on the left hand side of your page. Okay, So we see that contact. I want you to click there. You're going to see Contact Form 1 and then Contact Us. Okay, Click on the top one, Contact Form 1. 
these are the lead forms that we built in or set up with this plugin right into your website. So this allows you to collect a username, email, all that good stuff. Uh, but I just want you to be aware of where you can locate this particular plugin if you need to make changes to it. For example, if you need to change your email address that it's sending your, your uh, leads that are captured to, then you would just change that here where it says mail. Or if you want to uh, change what information you collect, then you would just change that here. For example, instead of collecting loan type, let's say that I wanted to ask a different question. Then I would simply highlight what goes between the code, the actual text that says loan type, and then type something new here. Okay, it's literally that simple. All right, so you could do a whole lot more with this plugin, but I, I don't want to overwhelm you. I know it's early in the process, so I just wanted to show you guys where you can access your plugins if you need more advanced training, if you need additional training, um, and something that goes more in depth. Then uh, we do provide that in our paid membership of Loan Officer Marketing Lab. Um, the rest of these plugins, most of these you don't really need to touch, such as the the Hello Dolly, the Askimet, and some of these other plugins. You can just completely ignore most of them. These are plugins that we use to help build your website originally uh, but if, again if you have questions um, then we, we do offer a, a very very concise and uh, deep training in the loan officer marketing lab all right guys so that's your introduction to plugins if you need to add a new plugin then you come up here to where it says plugins and you see where it says the add new link if you click here let's say I wanted to add uh, some some cool video features to my website then I would type out video and click search plugins and uh, you're going to see that there are literally hundreds of plugins and they're ranked be uh, on a five star system. Obviously five stars are best and one star or zero stars are terrible. So uh, look for plugins that have a, a good ranking to them and you can read what each plugin does because you can make your website do just about anything. If you find something you like, really all you have to do is click the install now button and then click the link that says activate. So it's that simple. You have access to thousands of plugins, folks. In fact, you can even do a search for mortgage or mortgage rates and see if there's any mortgage-related plugins. Of course, there are. Again, you can make WordPress do just about anything. All right, guys, I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Chat with you soon.